arrested in Turkey last night over a gesture he made during a game for his Turkish team Antalya Sport with Israeli hostages. And joining us now is Baba Gold founder and soccer journalist, expert in Middle Eastern sports affairs, Uri Levy. Uri, what are the latest Hi. details? Hey, what are the latest details we know about Yeheskel's wild, wild story? Yeah, I mean, uh, what we are hearing really in the time, the minutes before uh, our broadcast, is that uh, Sagiv Yeheskel is released and will be flying to Israel in a couple of hours in a private jet, according to my sources in uh, Turkey. Uh, just to recap on what has, this guy has been through in the past 24 hours, uh, yesterday on the 68th minute against Abzon Spor, he scored a goal and made a, a solidarity gesture, uh, an innocent gesture, um, commemorating 100 days since October 7, uh, Hamas uh, attacks on Israel. And, um, you know, an innocent gesture that he thought that is simply identifying with the families of the victims, with the hostage, hostages that are still being held in uh, Hamas captivity while we speak. Uh, but apparently in our days, Turkey, in our days, uh, Middle East, nothing is apolitical. And even an innocent gesture can be tarnished and, yes. and viewed as an incitement. In a, a call for a massacre, a counter massacre. I don't know the the, the exact expression in Turkish that uh, celebrities, politicians, and basically millions of uh, Turkish football fans and uh, and social media users used against Sagiv uh, But after a night that he spent in arrest, waiting for trial, we saw videos of Yehezkel being taken to a court this morning. But apparently. Uh, and this is must uh, also need to be said. Uh, his club Antalya Sport provided him with uh, legal consulting and a legal uh, accompanying, so he wasn't uh, uh, facing trials or any kind of charges. But still, a very intimidating situation. Imagine being with your wife and your seven-month-old baby, uh, packing your life in basically two hours, and then facing uh, all kind of uh, legal threats in a, a foreign country. Not a pleasant uh, experience at all. And, you know, it makes me think uh, think uh, on a wider expression and the wider consequences uh, of the October 7 uh, war that we are basically living in the past Definitely. three months. Are Israeli and Turkey are going to, you know, disconnect their, uh, their ties, their diplomatic ties, their commerce ties? Where is this whole thing going? Because obviously uh, the line that the Turkish regime has taken since October 7 is unacceptable for, for Israelis if, you know, a simple innocent gesture cannot be made, you know, in a full heart. Well, exactly. One last question. Many Israeli athletes successfully played in Turkey throughout the years. Currently, there are five also yeah. football, basketball. The Eden Kartev's case is also being investigated. Is this the end, you think, of Israeli athletes in Turkey as you see it? I hope not, because as I said, Israel and Turkey, Israel and Turkey has uh, strong ties, uh, sports, commerce, uh, and and uh, and further. But yes, we are hearing this morning that Istanbul Başakşehir, a club that is very much identified and close uh, to the Turkish Sports Ministry, has uh, put uh, Eden Kartsev into a disciplinary committee for his Instagram story, also only showing his solidarity with the. Uh, victims and the hostages that are being held for 100 days in a row in Hamas captivity. Look, it's very difficult, and I hope it will stay in football and will be, you know, managed in the right manner. Because as you said, we have Yamada, is a basketball player playing for Fenerbahce, and Imod Levy, also a basketball player playing there. And also Ramzi Safuri, an Arab Israeli who assisted Sagi Vichesker for the goal yesterday, is still playing in, for Ant Antalya Sport. So... I think there are many, many similarities and things in common between Israel and Turkey. We like the same food, we like the same music, we basically play the same sport. It's a pity and it's a big, for me, it's a shameful moment for our relationship in the sports field that a player that basically was, you know, doing something in a good in a good spirit, in a, in a, in a way to, to, you know, to erupt and encourage people to identify with Israeli people who are suffering right now is facing such consequences. It's definitely a shame and definitely a pity, and I'm sure this is a developing story. Thank you so much, Uri, for joining us today. Thank you, Amit. My pleasure.